All right, guys, today we're going to take a quick look at this 60 watt mini metal lathe that I bought from Amazon. It's right here. In total, it weighs about 10 pounds, which is awesome. It's maybe about a foot wide. Awesome as well, as long as you don't need to work with large material. If you need to work with larger material, you're gonna have a problem. There's only so much distance you can get here between your stock and your um, and this pin right here. So that's about maximum space you've got. Let's call it, got six inches. So if you have anything longer, you're gonna have a problem. Also, if you look at the chuck here, it can only accommodate material so large. So it's mini and it says that, so that's okay. As I said, it is 60 watts. Uh, it's easy to put together. Um, there'll be some video that I include right down below of how to do that. Um, the precision is, is far from precise. There's lots of slop in this lathe, I can tell you that. So if you're doing something that requires precision, you're probably gonna have problems here. Now, I didn't have problems with the 60 watt motor. It felt like an ample amount of motor to spin the material. However, because of that slop, you can see at some point my material actually shot out of my chuck. Now I bought this on Amazon for about $320, which in hindsight is pretty expensive, uh, considering you can kind of get a semi-professional metal uh, grade lathe for about $450, which is ultimately what I ended up doing. Now I haven't tested that yet. I have tested this. Uh, if you're working on really um, soft metals, copper, Aluminum maybe, this will be fine. I actually worked on uh, steel that was zinc coated and I, I struggled. It just wasn't working well. My cutting edge was dulling. So, so I know for sure I was trying to do something on this machine that it really wasn't intended for. Um, so that's on me. And maybe my lack of skill working with these machines uh, made, made my experience not as good as it could have been. Overall, I think the machine's pretty good if you're looking for something small. And that was the idea for me. I didn't want to have something that would take up a lot of space, but to do it right, you sort of need to do that. Um, so I'm going to have to get over that problem. I also would not recommend this model because it has that second tier so you can do different kind of cuts. I think if you're going to go with this, you're looking for a real simple lathe, go for the one that's a single tier. I'll actually have a link to the one I recommend down below. You can save yourself a hundred bucks, give or take as well, which is good. So it gets, puts you in about the $200 range, which I think is what would be more appropriate uh, considering the quality of this lathe. Overall, pretty cool. Glad I tested it. Uh, it's not for me and it's just not for the application I need it for. I kind of knew that. It was wishful thinking. So now I'm going to have to plunk some money down on a real lady. Stay tuned for that review.